Okay, and welcome back to the Student StarCraft Artificial Intelligence Tournament 2014. We have got the third match of the round of eight, and if it will load, we have got Ice Labs, which is a monster of a bot, versus uh, Sören Klett's Whopper. And Icebot is programmed by a university team from Japan, and will be playing in the orange. So we've got Ice Lab in the orange and Whopper by Sir Clet in blue. And I have been telling you something about the artificial intelligence tournaments in the previous uh, video. So now we'll focus a little bit more on um, Terran programming because that is what these new general gentle boss are excellent at explaining. ISAB has been programmed by a team, so it is um, not really a student entry, but it is, in my opinion, the most advanced Terran bot you can get to anywhere in the world. You will learn shortly why. And Whopper by a certain clad WOPR, it comes from the new war games. Uh, it's a bit of a hacker, kiddie, nuclear war, peaceful message, do good movie from the 80s or 90s, but do watch it, it's pretty fun actually if you like artificial intelligence. And this little gentle bot has some impressive tricks up its sleeve as well. So, what it will come down to is the engagement. At the beginning, it will all be pretty much the same. Whopper goes for a barracks first, and here we've got a gas first, and a barracks, and a depot at the wall of the natural. So what it does, it is anticipating expanding already. And here we've got gas as well, and two marines which go scouting the city. And we've got some marines coming up as well. After all, we've just seen a lot of um, bots in the Student StarCraft Artificial Intelligence Tournament are rush mods. There are many five pooling pieces of Zerks come. Uh, being a Zerg player myself, that hurts me to see and to say, but it's true. And uh, the Protoss and the Terran are usually much more in-depth, have more strategies, have more contingency plans, have more adaptive capabilities. So. Uh, what have we here? We have not seen a scout from Warper, but it's a building academy, and it will soon build either. Okay. I don't think we'll see much infantry, perhaps it's for the Coxet. And two factories for vultures and siege mode. And here, oh, a bunker, which is very safe. And we've got a siege tank and siege mode, so. Icebot is going defensive first with a bunker with siege tank with siege mode. And Whopper has built a bunker as well. And some units. Okay, so. I don't know if it would have been on time for Leaderbot's very, very early um, rerush, but they have got some kind of cheese defense set up and going for the expansion. And Whopper has almost the third done, and Ice Labs is up already. So that will be a significant advantage. It's also lifting the barracks. It was positioned here. And uh, what these bots are doing sometimes is wall themselves in. But Ice Labs, uh, I've seen them do it once. It's, it's true, I've watched some games, and I've seen, seen them do it once, but now it's it's moving out already with some tanks and some marines but we've got mines oh and we had some marines there was one mine there as well but these tanks are here and that will allow me to demonstrate another uh, aspect of these bots they have choke detection so they map their environment and they see well we've got a choke here we've got an expansion possibility here behind it so we'll defend here and not here so the SUVs are not touchable until you kill all this and the same thing goes for Icebot it has walled off here and it has moved out now because it has detected another choke here so this is an offensive choke and although that those seem very similar principles for humans for bots they are not and actually 
Actually, Icebot is the only bot which can detect an enemy choke and siege it up or attack it. And it's also brought a barracks for additional line of sight because these little tanks have got a range of firing which is longer than its range of sight. So if you help it by adding a barracks or another scout unit, they can fire actually further. So if you have tank battle in which one side of tanks sees further than the other, it will win because these guys see up to here and these guys can see up to here. They can't fire here, but they might fire one or two units further than they can see for themselves. So, to recapitulate, uh, the barracks has been chased off by Goliath, and tank lines have been set up. It's two days versus two days, although Icebot is taking two more expansions and building SMBs. Basically, these guys have unlimited APM. There are some restrictions on uh, the matter of slow you can use the game by issuing too many commands, but uh, compared to a human, they can operate thousands of commands each second. So, for expansion, it is okay. We've got an attack coming now, which will be repelled, and there are only four tanks left in the ring. So, this may be clear. Three tanks left, four tanks left, and one hiding behind the barracks. And Whopper is holding fast and expanding as well. So first round of combat goes to Whopper. Something else I love to demonstrate. This is a spider minefield and not even Lim Hyo Hwan, boxer himself, could deploy such a beautifully spaced minefield. If given the chance it will cover half the map in this, but now it's found an enemy to engage so... It's going up here to kill the stuff. And Whopper has built a battle cruiser which adds significant firepower. 25 versus 8 great units to ground to air. So these tanks are having a really hard time until the backup comes. What have we here? We have a dropship headed for. 4 4 4. Where is it going? It's going corner first. Uh, Pathing issue, and it will find. Yeah, no. It will deploy here. No, it will deploy in the main base. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. About ten-ish, and they will kill the button. Ten, and the dropship gets out clean but at the cost of the field. So the contain has been broken, Whopper has broken up. There are not many bots who can break the nice bot contain. And now the battle is on the map. And because Whopper has got battle cruisers out and tanks, it's got scouting and air attacks, so it will be in an advantage. Oh look! Ice Labs has seen it and will be answering in kind. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. Oh no, just two. Two more battle cruisers coming. So essentially, if I read this right, it is a five versus three base. And Whopper now has, until these two pieces all come out, to kill an expansion, or it will be behind the economic. Um, yes. This. Oh, it gets away. These battle cruisers supervise the tanks and they kill the option, which is nice because otherwise, uh, oh, the awesome girls just where they are killed and they have not done any damage here. Um, well, this battle is getting back and forth a bit and one bit of the uh, Warper army is killing the expansion. So, on the other end, these two gentlemen are killing the contain. So Icebot is free at the cost of the expansion. It is now one, two, three, four versus one base. And another expansion taken by Icebot. It's just merciless. If you think Flash has good mac macro, look at Icebot. It is 
it will go on. It is a steamroller on a nuclear nuclear steam machine. It will go and go and whopper what they do for the lights. The lights will be battle pieces and whopper seems to be in control of the game once more and it has taken another expansion. But oh god we've got a, a vulture drop and they have got 10 and for them almost uh, 50 SMB kills and it is unnoticed. Well, they're under attack, but a bot doesn't know how to respond. Um, they're just mining up here, and if they'd only send one tank or two tanks, it would be gone. They don't. And now we've got a natural, which is almost mined out, we've got a main, which is mined out, and we've got a base which is not yet fully up and running versus uh, this is mine out as well one two three fully saturated bases and by the looks of it icebot is taking the field once more so where is the action at the action is conversion upon the national of whopper again and this time it sort of lacks the uh, economic capabilities to keep up with the production. Um, there are just too many battle pieces. There are science vessels. Production is under attack. It does fend off the speech times, but what's it going to do against all these battle pieces? It does do something. We've even got one with good defensive matrices, so we've now got four and no minerals for that produce no minerals for water. So this seems to be the end. These vultures <laughs> with 20 kills, good morning. They have killed the first third base. And the concept before as well, I fear. This one, yeah. It should perhaps balance minerals and gas a bit more because it's still mining gas and no minerals and it's got no minerals. But it's too late. There's tanks, there's vultures, there's goliaths, there's science vessels, there's matrix battle producers killing stuff. And Icebot is maxed. So perhaps there will come. Oh yes, more mech streaming. And all the battle producers which have now plus three attack. And plus this. That will kill everything. Nice mine hit, but not enough. Icebot has a better scouting algorithm than Eater Bot. You can see it sends a portion of its army to kill the expansion, and it will leave the light in the neck to kill the rest, but the battery is return. And is this the last building? It is GG. Icebot defeats water and moves on to the round of 4. GG.